Hey everyone, it's Pix with Tricks, and welcome back to Silent Hill 2. We're here in Brookhaven Hospital, and we're about to see one of the more iconic figures in the entirety of Silent Hill. Probably only second to Pyramid Head, because whenever Silent Hill is brought up, people usually talk about Pyramid Head. But yeah, we're about to meet our first nurse. Yeah, from this point onward, the nurse became a prominent figure, like a staple of the series. And to be fair, they did originally appear in the first game, but this particular design of the nurse is something that they just kind of built off of. This is when, like, the nurse became synonymous with Silent Hill. They're really dangerous. I'm shooting them, I think. Yeah, the nurses. You really don't want to box with the nurses because the steel pipe hurts, like a lot. And most of the time you will lose. They usually come in groups and they'll like just blindly flail around the steel pipe. These mannequins are pretty harmless. For the most part, as long as you have a good start in the Silent Hill games, you should be set for the rest of the game. Sorry, Maria. I'm sorry about that wooden plank thing earlier. I really... I'm just trying not to get that ending. She's probably feeling a little woozy. The first place we're going to stop by is the nurse's office. Look at this cute teddy bear, dudes. Ow. What's wrong? I just pricked myself. Are you okay? Yeah. Sound hell. Even the teddy bears will get you. And we got a bent needle. And also a shotgun. Wasn't there a game where you played as a teddy bear? That got a shotgun and you like killed other teddy bears? It was called like Naughty Bear. Yeah, the nurses like randomly respawn like sometimes. It's weird. For the life of me, I can't tell you why. It's strange. We're here in the doctor's office. There's something inside the pocket of the white lab coat. And with that, we got the examination room. Okay, we also got some nice posters right here. Okay. Cool. These two doors should be locked. Yeah. Okay, so now that we have the examination room key, we can head back to the first floor and actually find a code for a door that we'll need here in a second. The code will actually always remain the same, but it's worth going into the room because there's some shotgun shells and I don't want to just input the code without like showing off where I got it and stuff. So the examination room should be right here. We have some shotgun shells in the sink, which is worth coming down here in it of itself. And here's the code I was talking about for the third floor patient wing. But yeah, the code will always be the same. And we're going to go straight there because we want to drop off Maria. Like I said earlier, we're trying to avoid getting the Maria ending. And I believe the more time you spend with her, the more likely you'll get the Maria ending, so we need to, uh, kind of, like, separate from her for a little bit. That is on the third floor. So, yeah, we're going in kind of a funky order, but that's fine. Oop. I was getting mixed up. But yeah, unlike um, the previous section, we're going to be a little more thorough in this area because we want to uh, make sure that we get the uh, as many shock and shells as we can. You missed. Ah, oh, you got me. Kind of messed up there. I'm mega messed up there. 
But yeah, shotgun ammo is a lot more uh, valuable to us, right? So we're going to be checking more of these rooms and hopefully picking up some more supplies. Well, we're getting some use out of the steel pipe, huh? And yeah, if we go to room S3, it should be right S7, all the way down here. Here. Yeah, Maria will get tired and like want to lay down for a little bit. It has nothing to do with the wooden plank earlier. Don't judge me, dudes. I'm sorry. She's just tired. It's just a hangover. You should rest. Mm. <clears throat> so comfy. I'm gonna go look for her. For Laura. I'll be back as soon as I can. We can also pick up the roof key here. So yeah, uh, Maria is going to be in this room at support. We don't go back in that room and like check on her because that will count towards uh, getting the Maria ending too. And I, I suppose while we're up here, we can look at these other rooms. Just uh, mark them off on our map. What the hell? I thought I took you out, my dude. Yeah, in this area, enemies will like come back. Strange. I guess that's just how it works around here. I was thinking about how cool it would be if you, like, left a nurse alive in a room. Like, if they resuscitated all the other enemies. That'd be kind of neat, huh? This should be, like, a save room, yeah. But I'm trying to keep saves to a minimum just to make things a little more interesting. Because for the most part, I know... Uh, what to do? Yeah, we're not going in that room quite yet. Mm. Should be locked. We're gonna go in th that door later. And that one's locked too. Um, so, I think if we take out these nurses, we should be able to get like a uh, first aid kit at the end of this hall. But other than that, I don't think there's really much to see on the third floor. Okay, so our business is pretty much done up here. This is the storage room. It's uh, locked currently. Let's go ahead and reload our gun and head back to the second floor. Yeah, I always looked at the Silent Hill franchise before I started playing it as being like, so intimidating. Like, how would you figure out some of these weird ass puzzles and where would you know, like, how would you know where to go and stuff like that. But the map system really helps you out because James will automatically mark off doors that he can't get inside of and stuff like that. So it's actually very helpful. It's not too hard at all. Yeah. Got some handgun bullets here. Let's go ahead and check in this room. First aid kit. Nice. And a typewriter. There's a typewriter here. I've got no use for this. Wait a minute, what's this? There's a sheet of carbon paper still stuck in the typewriter. I still read the imprint left on it. I know it, I know it. The number on the box, 6637. It can't help him anymore. The button key doesn't scare me, so nobody can stop who I am. I don't know who I am is who I am is who I am. M is. Here's a nice little wink to the Resident Evil series with the typewriter. And we got our civil code here. We're going to need that. Just going to go ahead and jot that down. I believe this is randomly generated as well. And yeah, we got our civil code. <laughs> For one of my favorite uh, puzzles in this game, just because how ridiculous it is. It really is. <laughs> You'll see.
You'll see here in a little bit. And we got some shotgun shells and the lapis eye key. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take care of these things first. Yo, hold up. Why are they kind of nice? Let's be sure to keep our gun reloaded too. Because some of these rooms uh, are like ambushes. But they also have supplies in them, so it's worth like looking inside of them. Yeah, just like this. That isn't the worst of it. There's a room a little bit later on that's like just so mean. <laughs> Neil see, but yeah, for the most part, there's like useful stuff. More shotgun shells. And a health drink too, so it's totally worth. Where the hell did you come from? Let's go for the dodge. Oi. Uh, we we're already in this room, man. Okay. And with that, our business on the second floor should be done here. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so uh, we got that roof key earlier. So now we can head up there. And up on the roof is a diary that is actually like a suicide note. And if James were to read this diary, it would go towards the in water ending. So yeah, you want to avoid it. I'll show it off, but uh, we're not going to read it. Because, you know, like someone in like a, a bad state of mind, you want to keep them away from stuff like that, right? So, uh, yeah, it's this, uh, this diary right there. You want to not read that if you're going for the in water ending. <laughs> Pyramid Head, uh, knocks us off the roof. Thankfully, we land in like a third floor, like crash into the ceiling or something. We end up in this place that was actually, uh, we kind of made it in here before. And um, we're also at like one HP. <laughs> yeah, so like we took massive damage in the cutscene and that actually translates over to the gameplay, which is actually kind of a cool touch. Not a lot of games do that and I like that. There's some written on the wall. Okay, so these are always really hard to read. I think that's a five, five, four, three, one, I think. Or it could be a seven, I'm gonna say five. Turn, 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 the numbers, better not forget them. So I'll write them down here, the other one, my secret name. Okay, so uh, it sounds like that crazy person, whoever it was, um, Train down these codes here. Back here on the third floor. Try to avoid them. Perfect. Do not leave a nurse life. No, that was the second floor. Okay. All right. So now that we have the lapis key, the bullseye key that we got last time, and the two codes, we can enter this room, and we find this box. Alright, and it has all these padlocks and two locks, right? So remember what we just read, the turn, turn, turn? It was referring to this. So we entered the code that was like on the blood on the wall, right? So it's five, four, this is randomly generated too. Five, four, three, one. Yeah, okay, we're right. The other one was on the typewriter, which was six, six, three, seven. So that's two of them down. The whole time you're thinking to yourself, like, what's in the box, man? We are working so hard to open this box, right? So use the lapis light key that we found earlier. In like a drawer in some random room. And the uh, purple bull key, which we got when we first got here. From like some documents. And it finally reveals... There's nothing inside the box. No, I'm wrong. There are a few hairs inside. So we got a piece of hair for all of that, for all that trouble. <laughs> two keys, two codes, we get a piece of hair. 
<laughs> right? Isn't that ridiculous? Okay, so what we do with this piece of hair? You remember that bent needle we got earlier? From the, uh, the bear that pricked James? Well, we can combine that with, uh, the hair we just got. And we can reach down into the strain. Because if you examine the strain, there's, like, something, like, out of reach. So you need something to be able to reach down and get it. We get the elevator key. <laughs> Isn't that just, just like, <laughs> so, it's so weird. <laughs> yeah, we have the elevator key now, and the elevator actually does work. Oddly enough. So now that we can go in the elevator, we can go back to the first floor because we were unable to access uh, the area where the elevator was on the first floor uh, before. It was like a locked door or something. Let's go ahead and equip to our shotgun. But yeah, I just love how ridiculous that uh, puzzle is. I would say that's probably the most crazy, the craziest puzzle in Silent Hill 2. There are some other ones uh, a little bit later on that you could argue for being a little more nutty than that, but <laughs> I just really enjoy that one. The piece of hair puzzle. later. This is no place for a kid. There are all sorts of strange things around here. I can't believe you haven't even gotten a scratch on you. Why should I? Wait, wait! There's something I gotta get. Later, okay? But it's really important. What is it? A letter from Mary. Huh? Get it. Is that okay? Yes. Yes. Come on, hurry up. Is it in there? Yeah, in the back. What are you doing, Laura? It's further back in the desk. Laura! What are you doing? Ha ha, I tricked you. Open the door, Laura. Why should I? I'm a liar, right? Want me to open it? Huh? Huh? 
do ya? What's the magic word? Laura? Okay, I guess it won't open it. I think I'll just leave you at this. You snotty little brat! Open up! Why, you... Nice. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, we gotta move. I mean, these things are pretty dangerous. They'll like try to strangle us with their feet. Yeah, just like that. So we kind of want to just like run around and try to unload like uh, a shot at a time. It's really tricky not to get grabbed, but it is possible. Okay, let's go ahead and quick turn here and get a shot on you. I'm pretty sure James will aim towards the one that's like closest to him. Shotgun has six shots. That was close. Let's go ahead and reload. It's a lot faster to uh, reload in the menu, as you can see. Ah, uh, James. Oh, we got two for the price of one, I think. Oh, look at you. Okay, I take back everything I ever said about you, James. Look at you. Well done. <laughs> It's a lot easier when it's just one of them. Dude, we can serve so much ammo. Did it damage you too? Dude, I'm juking the hell out of this thing. Okay, and when their feet uh, kind of like shrivel up like that, you can tell that it's gone. But there's actually one more that will appear. Yeah, the ceiling right there. Kind of like stun them into place with the handgun. But it kind of takes forever. I think what I'll do, I'll actually just quit this. We got some good damage. I think we saved like a shot or something. Yeah. Almost. And that should be that. There's the sound of the very familiar sirens. We actually heard them once before when Pyramid Head was leaving after our first encounter with him. First trip to the other world. Yeah. That was like the perspective from Mary, huh? You know what I never thought about? You know how Maria like got tired and took some medicines? Very like Mary-esque, huh? We have a save station here and also some shotgun shells. And we are going to check all these rooms. Only a few of them are open, but I believe there are some good things that we can get if we just uh, kind of look through all of them. One of these rooms are so mean. They have like two nurses like right at the entrance. Oh, there should be, yeah, there's the glass shattering, right? The glass jump scare, yeah. Little stuff like that is so freaky when you're playing a game like this and you just don't expect it, you know? God, that one was like right in front. Yeah, oh, it's just like that, except there's two of them. So you're pretty much guaranteed to get hit by them. And I believe all these should be locked. Pretty sure all these two. Just want to make sure. Okay, so there's the first floor. Even the elevators. <laughs> like a crazy person place. What would you call those places? The safety rooms? They have like these padding on the walls. Jeez, imagine being that far gone, man.
Oh, do you hear that? What the hell was that? What is that sound? Hey, you relax. You sound like a dinosaur or something. Hang of bullets. First aid. This piece of paper on the bed. I was locked up inside the basement's basement. It was so small and dark, and I was fr so afraid I dropped my precious ring, but I would never, ever go back there. Don't get sassy with me, James. Here we got a dry battery cell and the basement storeroom key. Yeah, the battery will actually come into play a little bit later on, like, uh, in a different area. It's pretty cool. It's not one of those things you can, like, miss or anything. You pick it up alongside the basement key, so you won't miss it. This is the room I was talking about. So yeah, we have to make sure we heal ourselves right away. If we want to get the good ending. Or so I've uh, been told. Nothing but a health drink. There's no way. There's no... Wait, was that an ampule? He's definitely looking at something. I'm missing something. Oh, I got handgun shells. Damn. Yeah, that is the worst room. One of the worst rooms in Silent Hill 2. <laughs> My first run through this place, I somehow managed to take down both of the nurses. It's a lot easier with the shotgun equipped, but I'm trying to conserve ammo from that. We'll go in that uh, white room a little bit later on. There's nothing that we can uh, do in there quite yet. But for the most part, we should be fine. Just want to double check everything. Let's go ahead and check our map. And yeah, we can see we've tried just about everything here. Yeah, we'll be uh, back for the day room. A little bit later. For now, let's head back to the elevator and make our way to the third floor. The only way to get to the basement is through the uh, stairs in the third floor. So yeah, we have to head up there first. In order to get that ring that was uh, in the note that we heard, right? Hello, nurse. There, I said it. I was, I was trying to go the whole time without saying it. Nice shot, James. Gonna get the drop on this one. It's really not like super necessary to take this one out. I just like to do it. Just because. Make our lives a little easier so we don't have to worry about it. I don't think they'll like reposition themselves. If we like leave and come back. But I'm not entirely sure so I guess it's better safe than sorry. But yeah before we uh, head down the stairs. We're just going to clear out all these rooms. There's actually some really good stuff in here. We can go in S3. This is like a replica of the... Other worlds. It is the other worlds, but you get what I mean, right? So, uh, there's nothing in S3 that we need. But I believe there should be, like, an ampule. Our first ampule. And probably, like, this room right here. Up here. No. This one. No, this one. There we go. Can you tell I'm not as familiar with this area? But yeah, check it out. We got some handgun bullets and an ampule. Which is a 100% heal. Definitely worth, uh... Just getting that, yeah. Yeah, you see this painting. In order to open that, we'll need two rings. 
And the first one we'll find in the uh, basement. Yeah. Can we go in here? No. Okay, so we've cleared out uh, pretty much the whole uh, hospital for the most part. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Let's go ahead and reload our gun just in case. And start making our way down to the basement's basement. But yeah, all these other doors are locked, so we have to go all the way from the very top. Got some ammo here. There's a shelf here. There are red handprints on the shelf. Dude, that's way too spooky, dude. Is that blood? That's way too spooky, bro. James! Mary? Oh, Maria. It's you. I thought you were... Sorry. Anyway, I'm glad you're alive. Anyway? What do you mean, anyway? You don't sound very happy to see me. I was almost killed back there. Why didn't you try to save me? All you care about is that dead wife of yours. I've never been so scared in my whole life. You couldn't care less about me, could you? No, 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 I just... Then stay with me. Don't ever leave me alone. You're supposed to take care of me. <laughs> so, what about Laura? Did you find her? Yeah, but she ran away. We've got to find her. You really seem to care about her. Do you know her? I've never met her before. I just feel sorry for her. She's all alone. And for some reason, I feel like it's up to me to protect her. <laughs> okay. Playing on PS2 hardware. A little skip there. That was kind of funny. But yeah, if we go down here, we can find ourselves the copper ring. Yeah. And the reason we didn't go in the day room last time was because we actually needed two people in order to get something open to get the other one. Now we have Maria, and we can head back up there. Sometimes this really freaky noise happens in that room. We just left the, like, basement right there. And it's just the worst. Nothing will happen, but it just freaks me out every time. But yeah, the only way we can get to the second floor from here is through the elevator. So yeah, let's go ahead and take Maria and head back there. We don't have to worry about enemies because we already cleared them out. And we should be set here. I feel like this is a part of Silent Hill 2. Most people don't bring up. It's so memorable. I don't know why people don't talk about this spot a little more. Brother and 
sister were playing in the road when they were attacked and chopped into pieces with an axe. Or smashed bones, shed blood, and finally, what a terrible tragedy. What a gruesome end to such a thing. What was the name of the murderer who committed this vile act? One, Walter Sullivan. Two, Scott Fairbanks. Three, Eric Gaines. Now for our third and final question. South of the lake is a deserted old neighborhood called South Vale. From there to Pale Vale, the central resort area northwest of the lake, there's only one road you can take. Just one road, no more. The third and final question is, what is the name of that road? One, Bachman Road. Two, Rindell Street. Three, Nathan Avenue. Well, that's the last of our questions. Have you got it all figured out? When you know the answers, head to the storeroom on the third floor to collect your prizes. But be careful if you're wrong. <laughs> well then, everybody, thanks for tuning in. was that? <laughs> <laughs> the quiz show. Okay. We'll be heading to the storeroom here in a moment, but, uh, yeah, we're going to head to the day room, because we have to go back there anyway. <laughs> yeah, the quiz show. But yeah, there's this, um, it's like fridge here. There's something that looks like a refrigerator. Would you open it? You can't open it? Yeah. Maria, give me a hand here. Come on. You're supposed to be the big man around here. How's a little girl like me supposed to help? <clears throat> What's this? Not very cute, is it? Here, James. You take it. Mm, thanks. And with that, we got ourselves the lead ring. Okay, so we got both rings that we need to uh, <laughs> put on that the finger of that painting. Yeah. <laughs> Still can't get over the quiz show. I feel like it's kind of hard to like remember the answers right away. But yeah, it's it's like Lakeview Amusement Park and Walter Sullivan. The answer is three one three. So yeah, we're heading back to the third floor. If we head inside the storage room, don't worry, no more quiz shows. <laughs> it lasts for so long. I, I love the host's presentation of the whole show. He sounds like he's having a lot of fun with the role. <laughs> yeah, certainly. But yeah, if we head into the storage room, there's this box that wasn't there before. I didn't show it off before, but yeah, there's also a first aid kit. Handgun bullets and some shotgun shells. But yeah, this wasn't here before. And the way you enter is from the top to the bottom. So three, one, three. You want to be careful. If you get it wrong, acid will come from the ceiling and take you down to like one health, I believe. I don't know. I've never got it wrong. That's uh, what I heard. But yeah, we got some shotgun shells, shotgun shells. Two ampules and a bunch of shotgun shells. Yeah, we are... Dude, we're set, bro. <laughs> like, for a while. Let's see how much we got at the end of the day, huh? 60, alright, cool. So yeah, it's totally worth doing that. But yeah, with that, we got ourselves the reins, and we can put it on this uh, painting here. Let's go ahead and read out what it says first. It's a painting of a woman on the door. Oddly enough, the hand part of the painting is actually 3D and sticks up. I actually recently learned you can actually combine these rings and just put them on at the same time. I didn't know that before. This is a little time. Put the copper ring on the hand of the lady in the painting. 
With the lead ring on the hand of the lady in the painting. And with that, yeah, well, unlock. Okay. There is a note on the ground. Inside is some kind of heart's read writing. I took the director's key, the one to the museum. I hid it behind the praying woman when I went out for the day trip. Picked it up, but I did not steal it. I'm not a criminal. Okay. So all these doors here are locked except the the final one. Okay, I could very easily die here. This part's hard. Still haven't saved. Can I get some Fs in the comments for my girl Maria? I didn't want to get her ending, but I didn't want her to die. It's inside the director's office. The beautiful piano right here. He who is not bold enough to be stared at from across the abyss is not bold enough to stare into it himself. The truth can only be learned by marching forward. Follow the map, there's a letter and a wrench. Letter and wrench. And this is where we use it back to Rosewater Park. And then we'll head to the Sound Hill Historical Society. We got the hospital lobby key. But yeah, we had to go in there to get the hospital lobby key so we can actually leave. So yeah, we're down here with Brookville Hospital. Yeah. Marie's dead. I couldn't protect her. Once again, I couldn't do anything to help. Laura's run off somewhere. Mary. What should I do? Are you really waiting for me somewhere? Or is this your way of taking... Taking what? I'm gonna find Mary. It's the only thing I have left to hope for. Right. We have to, uh... Have to follow Laura, too. Even though she's kind of a little punk. It's not like we just leave her in a town with monsters like this. The nurses all over the place. 
I think if we go down here, I know this isn't the right way to go, but yeah, check it out. We got ourselves uh, a first aid kit and a health drink. Kind of got roughed up by one of those nurses earlier, but that's quite all right. It's funny when, um, when I do my preparations, I'll like do a run of these areas and everything will go perfectly, but then I'll actually start recording and things will just, <laughs> just fall apart. <laughs> that usually happens in, uh, these playthroughs, but that's just how it is sometimes. <laughs> There are actually a lot of items uh, strewn about uh, this entire area. We could go searching for them, but in the interest of time, we are going to be skipping out on a majority of them. There are a few things that are pretty easy to pick up that we will be stopping by for. But for now, we are going to try to make our way to Salt Street. Gonna kind of just hug the wall here. And hope we come across some stuff. But yeah, for the most part, I usually just go from one place to another. Unless it's something like, uh, that's not like super out of the way. And we got ourselves some handgun bullets. And to be perfectly honest, I actually took the wrong turn there. Yeah, we want to go down Soul Street. <laughs> but I, <laughs> like, I could have been like... Oh yeah, I just want to get these uh, these health drinks and uh, you know this handgun bullets. But real talk, I, I just went the wrong way, but it worked out for us, so that's that's quite all right. <laughs> yeah, we had to head through the tunnel. We're actually going to see a new enemy that we don't see that often. Yeah, these kind of like weird things that like uh walk underneath the or like grab onto them grab onto the metal ceiling i should say yeah. i'm gonna just try to avoid them just run past them yeah now i know silent hill 3 has death pits all over the place i don't know if we actually go near that pit if we fall if we'll just insta die i don't really want to find out we still haven't saved so probably best that we don't uh just that we we actually can go inside this uh rv and there's like a save station there but other than that it's nothing like too interesting got ourselves first aid kit and some more handgun bullets oh shotgun shells okay so first stop is like the kind of like these like suburban houses and uh find ourselves this wrench that we need to pry open this box in Rosewater Park. Yeah. There's also some like rifle shells somewhere around here. I'm trying not to miss them because uh, rifle shells are actually pretty rare. It's funny, I beat this game in order to uh, show it off without the filter, right? And in my first run, I missed the rifle, the most powerful weapon in the game. So I had to beat the final boss with uh, just the, like the shotgun, just what I have now, essentially. So I missed like the, the strongest weapon. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, pixel trick. The next area uh, past here is actually quite complicated. Um, and it's pretty easy to, uh, to get lost and stuff. Yeah, kind of went past there. That's right. Yeah, there should be like these suburban houses. Like right past here. Am I going the right way? Thank God I checked the map. <laughs> and nurses all over the place. Just gonna keep our light off for now so we don't attract them. I don't want them following us into this area up here. Oh, listen to that. What was that? Oh yeah, too dark to read the map. Damn it, this <laughs> this literally never happened. I, I practiced this like three times and I did perfect. <laughs> Pixel tree, I'm sorry. <laughs> It's the Let's Play Curse, man. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's real. As soon as I start recording, everything just falls apart. 
But for the most part, we've been doing pretty well. Like, things haven't been going too horribly, so you know what? I can't even complain. Is it down here? How am I doing this? Pixel trick. <laughs> oh, no. This is this way I came. This, uh, these handgun bullets, of course. Trust me. Let me alone. I've been through enough. I'm very lost. Oh, the camera should change. Yeah, this is it. We found 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 it. Okay. The stammer wrench. <laughs> or perhaps you are a fool. The truth usually betrays people. Part of that abyss is in the old society. The key to the society is in the park. At the foot of the praying woman, inside of the ground, inside of a box. To open it, I need a wrench. My patient buried it there. I knew, but did nothing. It made me uneasy to have such a thing near. I wasn't looking for the truth, I was looking for tranquility. I also saw that thing. I fled, but the museum was sealed as well. Now no one dares to approach that place. You still do not wish to stop, James. I pray to the Lord to have mercy on your eternal soul. This is where stuff gets, like, real grim. Yeah. This next area definitely gets, like, very... Very, like, sad. Kinda, yeah. Right, so we can go, like, just straight that way. I think the rifle shells that I was talking about should be, like, on this... On this side here? I think so. Like, right around a corner. At least we're picking up a lot of stuff. We're not getting roughed up, but we are taking... A couple wrong turns. Yeah. Rifle shells. Nice. Okay, at least I remembered that. So yeah, now all we have to do is head down this way. And we'll actually be passing the uh, Woodside Apartments. Yeah, the first area that we were at. But now there should be like a door that was locked previously. That we can actually like go inside of now. Yeah, okay, so we're heading back to that park where we first met Maria. And I've heard rumors that if you look around for long enough, you can run into Pyramid Head in this area. But I don't know. I can't find any evidence that it's true or that it's fake. So I really don't know. One thing that I do know, I always get lost here. Like, this place messes me up every time. <laughs> I don't know why. So, hopefully, uh... Hopefully it goes well this time. Since I got so lost on the simple part. <laughs> Take a swing. You missed. I mean, she tried her very best. That's all I can ask for. Take a swing. No? She's like, nah, he's going to fist. There should be a lot of stuff we can pick up here. But yeah, this is the entrance to Rosewater Park. Should be some more shotgun shells, yeah. Gonna have a lot of shotgun ammo. There should be some, like, health drinks around here, too. I thought. Where's this? Oh, ampule. Cool. Another full heal. Um, I don't think it was this way. I don't know. I always get lost here. All the way down. Definitely not this way. It's kind of like a maze. God, that wood suck of Pyramid Head was like trolling around here. There's actually... <laughs> That'll be in the next part. There's a labyrinth. Oh, dude, we found it, like, right away. I've never found it this fast. Ground is raised up. There could be something under here. Will you dig? Wow. <laughs> okay, so normally I'm wandering around here forever trying to find this statue in this spot. So, you know what? It worked out in the end.
And now we can use the wrench. I used the wrench. Got the old bronze key. And with this, we should be able to get into the Silent Hill Historical Center, whatever it's called. I forget. And I think if we just go up this way and take a turn here. Yeah. Wow, I've never done that part that fast. Okay. Totally made up for my blunder earlier. I was expecting that part to take forever. It totally didn't. Nice. Yeah, we got some more nurses here. Nothing to worry about. We just run uh, past them. There actually should be like a first aid kit. And like a nurse guarding it. I'm going to attempt to just grab it and run. It's a little hard to do though. I did it last time. So if I miss it now, it is to be expected. <laughs> because that's just how things go. Yeah, Silent Hill Historical Society, I think it's called. This next area is something else, man. It's like depressing. Really, there are a lot of nurses here. Let's keep our light off. Let's see if that helps. I think if we get close enough, it won't matter. Man, I guess I could just shoot them. <laughs> nice. <sighs> okay. We did it. <laughs> Wonderful, dude. No, hold up. First, uh, where do we get the map? Oh wait, no, there isn't a map here. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Wait, is there one next to it? This map? Are you a map? You are not. I'll even remember. This next part is gonna be really hard. But that went so well. This is my little blunder at the end there, but you know what? That's perfectly all right. We, we are flying through this game, dudes, right? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. I certainly am having a good time, and I will see you on the next one, all right? Yeah. Uh, next up, we're going to head to probably one of the more depressing uh, areas in this game, in my opinion. But yeah, we'll see how things go.